Tsaka yung mga nasa bahay. Let's greet po. Yeah. Good morning po sa bawat isa. Let's worship God together po sa umagang ito. And let's read po yung ating mga puso. And even yung ating sarili, physically, spiritually, emotionally, ay bigay nating lahat sa ating Diyos. Amen po. Sige po, sa umagang ito, let's sing together po, I am a worshiper. Let's claim po, worshiper ng ating Diyos. Hindi lang sa loob ng church, hindi lang every Sunday, kundi every day po ng buhay natin. Amen. Let's sing together, I am a worshiper. Creed po ng sabay-sabay. Let's recite. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, in Jesus Christ, His Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He ascended into hell, the third day He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and sits on the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Universal Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Pangunahan po tayo sa opening prayer ni Sister Maria.
puso ng bawat isa sa amin. Ano man po ang nakikita niyong bahit karumihan, mga kasalanan namin, Panginoong sinasadya o hindi man po sinasadya. Kami po, Panginoon, ay kumihingi po ng kapatawaran. Salamat, Ama, sa oras na ito. Kami po'y malaya na makakalapit sa inyo. Tunay nga po, Panginoon, na kayo ang Diyos ng aming mga buhay. Ama, itinataas po namin sa iyo ang maghahayag po ng banal mong salita sa oras na ito. Sila, Pastor Kim po, Panginoon, malaya man po siya sa amin, kayo po ang patuloy na sumama sa kanya, O God, na sa oras na ito, bigyan niya siya ng karunungan at kaunawaan sa pamuhay po namin ang mga sa banal ng salita na aming mapapakinggan. Salamat po aming Diyos. Kayo po ang tunay na ama namin na patuloy na sumasabay-bay sa oras-oras ng aming mga buhay. Kami po, Panginoon, ay sumahan po simula ang misa hanggang sa matapos po ang gawain ito. Pagtubayan mo po ang lahat po ng mga anak mo na patuloy na sumasambat na nanampalataya sa inyo. Sa inyo lamang po namin pinakakatiwala ang lahat ng ito, Panginoon. At sa oras na ito, maingat ko pong ipinabalik sa iyo ang pinakamataas na papuri, masasalamat at pagsamba. Sa natatanging pangalan mo, Jesus. Amen. Yeah, purihin ng Diyos. As we sing po kanina, ba? Diba? Sabi po, we are a worshiper. So, we worship. Pagpapagay natin yung best worship po natin sa ating Diyos na buhay. Kapakam po natin ang Diyos. So tayo ni Brother M. Yaji and the worship here. Okay. <laughs> Sorry po. Maganda po maganda po sa ating lahat. Tayo po ba ay uh, nahanda ng magpuri sa ating Diyos na buhay? ating buhay. Before that, pwede po ba nating palakbangan muna ang Lord? Hey! Oh! Oh, you are! Oh, you are! Before that, po natin natin palakbang po natin sa Diyos! Oh, 
Oh, you are so good, so good. Patuli po tayo na mga wits sa ating Diyos na buhay sa umagang to. And this morning, we sing about His name. And as we sing about His name, let us remember how beautiful His name has been sa ating buhay. His word says that there is power in the name of Jesus. And I believe that we have encountered how powerful, how beautiful, and just how wonderful His name is in our lives. And in His name, we've been healed of our sicknesses, we've been uplifted of our afflictions, and we've gone through hardships and experienced victories. Amen.
Stand again. 
O God, your name is powerful, and above every other name, above all names, none can ever be greater than you. None can ever equal you in great in power, in strength, in might, in honor. Lord, this morning, we just come to you, Lord God, with humility, as we seek your face, as we seek your word, O oh God. Lord, we ask you, Lord God, to let the Holy Spirit move with power and anoint our speaker for this morning. May your words be planted in our hearts, O oh God, as it grows, that we may know you more, that we may know you deeper and deeper. But Lord, this morning, once again, we offer you thanksgiving in the name of Jesus. Amen. Sandali po tayong manalangin. Personally, bago po tayo makarinig ng mensahe, ng salita ng Diyos sa umagang ito, na ibibigay po ng ating senior pastor. Let us po, yung Holy Spirit, to lead us, to guide us po, and even yung self po natin ay hayag po natin sa Panginoon at hayaan po natin ang manala spirito niya po ang komido. So, let's pray together po. Hallelujah. Padal na Diyos, salamat po sa umagang ito na patuloy ka o Diyos na kumikita sa aming kalagitan. Tayo po ay bibigyan ng mensahe ng ating senior pastor sa umagang ito. Palakpakan po natin ang Diyos sa kabutihan po sa kanyang buhay. Hello everyone. Today is sermon title, Days of Punishment, Days of Recompense. Today, verses of Hosea chapter 9, Verse 5 to 9. All Jewish members, if national disasters like earthquake or type on the occur, commercial broadcast network air disaster related program, not entertaining show to comfort victims sorrow and pains. It was the same when September 11 terror attack happened in America. At the time, many sports games were delayed temporarily, and the television aired many programs and activities to comfort the victim and their families. Today's text tells that the Israelites would have nothing to do on the day of the appointed festival and on the day of the feast of the Lord. Hosea chapter 9 verse 5 says, let's read it together. Ano ang gagawin mo sa araw na itinaktang kapistahan at sa araw na kapistahan na pagtiriwar para kay Yahweh? It means that the Israelites would not absorb those festival because of their coming destruction. There were festival and peace, but they would have no joy and pleasure that 
their pet during those festivals. Assyria would destroy Israel and Babylon would end Judah. People in the northern kingdom Israel and the southern kingdom Judah abandoned God and did idolatry, so they faced their destruction. The Israelites should know that the day of punishment have come. The days of recompense have come. However, the Israelites did not give a worldly pleasure in Ghana and idolatry. Worse is that they did not return to God. Their time is running out. We also have no enough time. Nevertheless, why do we hesitate to return to God and fully commit ourselves to Him? Today, let's think about what attitude we need to live as God's holy people. Number one, we should depend on God. We should worship God. We should not keep our worshiping Him, though worldly pleasure is so that it makes us hard to resist it. Amen, Boba. The Israelites seem to, to think we can forsake God, not but not money. They were captured by the pleasure of money, not by the joy coming from God. The happiness through enjoy pleasure in Ghana, that through living holy lives as God's people. The Israelites should choose either God or idolatry, and have comfortable lives in Ghana. If they choose idolatry and simple lives in Ghana instead of God, they would face the day of punishment and the recompense every day. Ghana was a pelter land, however, it could not be a blessed land without God. Verse chapter nine, verse six. Let's read it together. Makatakas man sila sa pagkawasak itipunin din sila ng Egypto. Ay ililibing sa Memphis. Matatakpan ng damo ang kanilang mga kagamitang pilak at tutubuan ng dawag ang mga tahanan nilang wasak. Memphis is an ancient city located in the northern region of Egypt. Memphis is famous for the tombs of King. God led the Israelites from Egypt to Ghana to make them the people of God's kingdom. However, God would gather the Israelites to bury them in Egypt. It is a terrifying decision when we lose our heart worshiping and fearing God. We encounter many things we want to avoid. That's because God wants us to realize who God truly is. Thus, our precious family and the children will be under God's curse. We should fear God in all. We should restore our passion for worshiping God with all our heart. To throw me chapter A, verse 19. Let's read it together. Kapag sila ay tinalikuran ninyo at sumamba kayo sa Diyos Diyosan, na yun pa ay pinabalaan ko na kayo na malilipol kayo. Our best service to God is our whole 
hot worship in all. Let me go back. Number two, we should depend on God's word. We should prepare our clean heart depending on God's word only. Amen. Hosea chapter 9, verse 7. Let's read it together. Tumating na ang mga araw na pagpaparusa, sumapit na ang araw na paghihiganti. Ito'y malalaman ng Israel. Ang sabi ninyo, mangmang ang isang propeta at ang lingkod ng Diyos ay baliw. Totoo yan sa pagkalabis na ang inyong kasamaan at matindi ang inyong poot. The Israelites lost their passion and the peaceful attitude towards God sincerely. That's because Satan used the money to block the Israelites from accepting God's word peacefully. Though God spoken to them many times, the Israelites did not change their heart from money to God. That's because Satan already kept their heart with money. Worse was they, that they neglected a true prophet Hosea and other peaceful people who depended on the genuine God's word and regarded them as pleased ones. Disobedience to God's word will be the biggest reason for our hardship. For chapter 9, verse 8. Let's read it together. Ang propetay siyang bantay sa Ephraim, ang bayan ng aking Diyos. Unit, may bitak na laging sa kanya'y nakaumang. At kinapuputan siya maging sa templo ng kanyang Diyos. We can be praising this verse like the following, Abraham put the snare on the way of the prophet. God anointed a prophet as a watchman of Israel, Abraham, to restore them. However, Israel put the snare before the prophet and made him fall down. Israelites hate God's word. They were not interested in listening to God's word and treat it as a useless one. When we fill our heart with evil, we can focus on God's word. We are responsible for making our heart focus on God's word and depend on it. Amen. Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 20. Let's read it together. Kung hindi ninyo papakinggan ang kanyang tinig, malilipol kayo tulad na nangyari sa mga bansang ipinalipol sa inyo ni Yahweh. Moses proclaimed this verse to the Israelites because they paid more attention to ten spies than God's promise. This verse teaches us that we should resolve to listen to God's word and obey it, not other talk. Amen. Number three. We should forsake any form of evil. We should stay awake and pray to be sensitive to evil. Amen. Hosea chapter 9, verse 9. Let's read it together. Napakasa ng lubha ang aking bayan kaya nangyari sa Gibea. Kugunitay ng Diyos ang kanilang kalikuan at paparusahan ang kanilang mga kasalanan. The instant in Hosea chapter 9 verse 9 is written well in Judges 9. Gibeah belonged to the Benjamin, a certain Levite was on the way back to his house the hill country of Abraham with 
his concubine. On their way, they stay at Gibra for day and night. However, evil men in Gibra humiliated the concubine of the Nebited overnight and caused her to die the following morning. This incident caused internal conflicts between Benjamin and the other 11 tribes. He brought a lot, lot of damage to Benjamin. At the time, other tribes proclaimed no marriage with Benjamin. In Hosea chapter 9, verse 9, God said that only a few evil men were corrupted and caused severe damage to Benjamin at the time. However, the Holy Spirit lights became corrupted like those few evil men in Gibra. In Hosea, Hosea God himself would push Israel, punish Israel, not through internal conflict in Judges 19. Hosea chapter 9, verse 9b says, He will remember their iniquity. He will punish their sins. God's involvement indicated his punishment in this situation. If God himself involved punish the, punish the evil, humans cannot endure his anger and his punishment. We are weak, so we should be careful. When we sin something before God, we should feel guilty and shameful about our sin. When we are insensitive to our sin, we cannot avoid facing our hardship for our health, spiritual sensitivity. We should pray and maintain an intimate relationship with God. Also, we need, we need to ask our use, our everything, our thought, action, time, and all effort to reveal God's holiness. Conclusion. To live as God's holy people, we should. Watch God, though we know the secular pleasure, make our heart clean to depend on only God's word. Stay awake spiritually and always pray to be sensitive to evil. Amen. Let's pray. Our God, let us depend on only you. Let our heart clean to fill them fully with God's word. Help us stay awake and pray to be sensitive to sin and depart from evil ways. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Sai po na senior pastor. Misa dito sa buhay niya. So wag po natin kalimutan yung tatlong points po ng ating sermon sa umagang ito. Yung anong attitude po dapat meron tayo bilang mga tinawag na anak ng Diyos. Unang bagay po, sabi po ay depend on God. Magtiwala sa Diyos. Palagi po wag nating alisin sa puso natin, sa buhay natin yung magtiwala sa Diyos. Ano man po yung meron tayo kung wala ang Diyos, it's all useless po. Kaya dapat po tayo sa Diyos nang magtiwala. And pangalawa, Magdepend lang po tayo sa salita ng Diyos. Wala pong iba. Huwag po tayong makinig sa ibang tao. Huwag tayong sumunod sa ibang tao. Kung hindi sa Diyos lamang tayo sumunod at makinig po at magtiwala po sa kanyang mga salita. And pangatlo po, layuan po natin ano, ang ano bang uri ng kasamaan. Kasi ito po yung magiging dahilan upang magkasala po tayo. Magiging dahilan po ito upang tayo ay ano po, hindi magtiwala sa Diyos at hindi magtiwala sa kanyang salita. Kaya let's do our best po 
bilang mga God's children, to remember these three things po. Ito po yung napakalaga sa buhay natin bilang mga Kristiyano. Amen po. Amen. Salamat po sa buhay ng ating senior pastor. And tayo pong lahat ay tumayo. And it's time po to give back po yung ating thanksgiving sa ating Diyos. Pangunahan po tayo sa offering prayer ni Sister Emeline. Let us pray. Let us pray po para sa ating offering. Lord God, maraming salamat Panginoon sa umagang ito na kami Panginoon ay nakarinig muli ng iyong mga salita. Na ang iyong mga salita Panginoon ay amin pong panghahawakan. Nakadepende lamang kami sa iyo Panginoon at sa iyong mga salita. Na Lord, ito lamang po ang aming pag-asa na mapabago Panginoon ang takbo ng uh, mundo Panginoon. Salamat na ama. Panginoon, umaasa at nagbibiwala, Panginoon. Bless mo po ang tayo sa offering. Salamat na namin, Panginoon. At patuloy mo kami, Panginoon, kabayan at itilayo, Panginoon, sa kapangalaban. Maraming maraming salamat, ama. At sa mga kamay, Panginoon, na magbigay, Panginoon, patuloy mo po silang pagpapalain, Panginoon. Patuloy mo kami, Panginoon, ingatan. Maraming maraming salamat, Ama. Ikaw lamang, O Diyos, ang aming pinapuri at pinapasalamatan. Sa pangalan ni Jesus, Amen. Let's see our announcement this morning. Number one po, sabi po sa ating announcement, close distance with God spiritually and with members is emotionally. So, mas lalo pa po nating uh, palakasin po or mas palapitin po yung relationship natin sa ating Diyos and even sa ating mga church members, especially kapag meron po sila emotional na need ng support, let's pray for them and let's strengthen them po, no? Pero, gayon pa, mawag natin kalimutan, palagi natin observe yung social distancing physically. So, pag enter po natin ng church, isipin natin, dapat mag-close distance po tayo sa ating mga kapatid sa Panginoon. Kasi po, kailangan po natin gawin ito para din po sa security po ng bawat isa and even, di ba po, nag, na, nakikita po tayo sa mga online, di ba po? So, para maging good model po tayo. So, makikita nila ay, yung grace and peace ay mga disiplinado, talaga sumusunod sila sa mga protocol. So, hindi lang po, dahil wala nakakakita ko, hindi, minsan po, di ba, sa YouTube po, so, we don't know sino po yung mga nanonood, nakikinig po ng salita ng Diyos. So, makita po, ang bawat isa sa atin po na mabuti po tayong sumusunod at mabuti po tayong mga anak ng Diyos. And then number two, special prayer po for the safety of all 
Pilipino from Delta Bayans and everyone's health. So wag po nating kalimutan, palagi po tayong magpray para po sa kaligtasan po ng bawat isa, bawat family and all the Pilipino po. So totoong meron po uh, virus, wag po natin yang kakalimutan. Pero tandaan natin, meron po tayong Diyos. Siya po ang mag-iingat sa atin. Amen? So, dalawang taon na almost, or more than one year na, pero nakita po natin, God is good with us. Amen? Wala pong nagkakasakit sa atin. Amen? Palapakan po natin ng Diyos. So, ang dahilan po niyan ay ang Diyos and ang inyong faithful na relationship sa Kanya. Amen po ba? Yan lang po ang tanging. So, marami tayong naririnig sa mga tao, especially pag nagpabaksin ka, not good in our body. Pero minsan, wag po tayong makinig noon. So, minsan panghihinaan tayo ng loob pag lagi tayong nakikinig sa mga sinasabi ng tao. Sabi nga po kanina sa sermon, di ba? Mas magtiwala po tayo sa salita ng Diyos at sa Kanyang promise po, no? And then number three, every worship and fellowship at church allowed lang po sa youth age 18 years old above and adults who have no symptoms. Kung kaya may nalig ako isang member kanina, kapag yung kasami nyo medyo masama yung pakiramdam, much better to stay at home na lang and mag-join po sa Zoom worship po natin. So everyone can join worship through Zoom too. So let's encourage po especially yung mga 18 below, even children can join po sa ating worship sa Zoom po. And number four, So, scholarship meeting, temporary lang po ito. So, na-announce na po kasi, di ba po, hanggang MECQ ang Rizal hanggang August 31. So, let's continue to pray po na after sana August, balik tayo sa GCQ para makasama po natin sila. Amen po. So, amen. So, the number five, parents prayer meeting uh, every 2 p.m. po ito ng Thursday. So, continually po ito na every Thursday ay merong... Pre, uh, parents prayer meeting and updated po tayo di ba dahil nagpo-post po sila sa ating group chat yeah so palakbakan po natin yung mga parents na napaka-faithful po every Thursday who come po sa prayer meeting and number six po mamaya po loot uh, youth lamp uh, fellowship po ng 4 p.m. dito sa church 18 above and the other po can join yung mga youth sa bahay po nila through zoom amen po so that's all po so may bago po ba tayo? Parang may nakita yata akong bago. Wala naman. Okay po. Dito po, wala. Medyo malabo po yung mata ko pag nasa likod po kayo. So, wala naman po, no? So, anyway, palakpakan po natin yung bawat isa sa sandaling ito. And tayo pong lahat ay tumayo. And let's declare, declare po yung congregational prayer statement po with faith po sa ating Panginoon. So, let's start po. Number one po. Panginoon, Ikaw po ang Diyos na nagtatab ng bawat mga bansa. Sandali pong ito, lumalapit kami sa iyo ng may kapakumbabaan para sa aming bayan. Anong balikin at palakasin mo po ang aming bayan upang maging bansa na pinapakita ang iyong kalwalatian sa iba. Amen. Panginoon, ang kinakaharap naming pagsubok ngayon ay maliit lang para sa laki ng pag-ibig at kabutihan mo sa aming buhay. Tulungan mo po kami na huwag manghina sa aming sitwasyon at tingnan namin ang kasalukuyang pandemya na maliit lang dahil meron tayong makapangyarihang Diyos. Amen. May noon, tulungan at ingatan mo po ang bawat sang anak mo sa iglesyang ito. Sa araw-araw, dagdagan mo po ang aming pananampalataya upang kami ay maging matibay gaya ng mga bato na hindi nagugupo. Palakasin mo po ang aming pananampalataya upang maging matibay kami sa anumang pagsubok na dumating. Amen. Panginoon, salamat po na itinatag mo ang simbahang ito sa lugar na ito. Mayroon ka pong mahiwagang kalooban dito. Gamitin mo po ang iglesyang ito bilang pagpapala sa kaligtasan ng marami. Amen. Panginoon, pinagkakatiwala po namin sa iyo ang buhay ng aming mga miyembro, pastor at mga ministers. Pagkalooban mo po sila ng sapat na lakas at kapangyarihan upang maihayag ang iyong kalooban at pag-ibig sa iba 
lalo na sa mga di pa mananampalataya. Amen. Purihin ng Diyos at tayo po ay sabay-sabay numawit ng The Lord's Prayer Song. Pagpapala po tayo sa bawat isa. And babay po sa lahat po ng mga nasa bahay. Pagpalain po kayo ng ating Diyos. Picture tayo! Okay. One. One, two, three. Isa pa, isa pa. Isa pa po. Isa pa. One, two, three. Okay, nice. 